Facebook, Microsoft, Google, Unity, Epic Games and others race to build metaverse or lay foundation for many metaverse. The question remains, who is going to be behind what we will see inside of it? Architects, artificial intelligence, game developers, or should it be left to an individual, you and I? And more importantly, does metaverse even need architects? Architects are no longer the mastermind in modern society. Today, architects are more like project managers. They collaborate with other consultants, engineers, contractors, clients, and government officials to make a project happen. For architects, the metaverse is a creativity-free territory full of possibilities and a utopia without the constraints of client wishes and tight budgets. And it could be a massive opportunity if Metaverse needs huge content to entertain the users. But does it? Or is the user who is going to create it themselves? What's more, architects are already familiar with all the tool sets required to build inside the Metaverse. The tools are 3D modeling software like Blender, 3D Max, Maya, SBrush, Substance Painter, etc. And game engines like Unity and Unreal. It is no surprise that architects are getting into NFTs and Metaverse. Zaha Hadid Architects is building a virtual city for the Metaverse. On the community side, State of Address Sofa is world's first design community on a blockchain, shifting how design and architecture are made, owned, and collected. Another example is Toronto-based artist Krista Kim, who has sold the first NFT-backed digital home for over half a million dollars. This costs more than a real house in many North America cities. However, architecture is not just about infinite creativity with no constraints. Architects love problem solving and addressing the functional needs of society. In Metaverse, there are no really practical needs beyond display advertisement, at least for now. It is easier to teach developers about architecture and spatial design than architects to develop games. Game designers already know how to build massive 3D worlds, and in most games, a small team of architects consult large teams of developers. Liam Young, who describes himself as a speculative architect, raised an important question. We studied for seven years, and we designed rich houses for rich people. Why? Can't we design a digital urban environment that a billion people play every day? Environments in Metaverse are not just about space, but the scale of it. If a billion people get to enjoy it, no architect or architecture firm alone can meet its demand. Today, film and video game developers are using procedural content generation, PCG, to produce more significant amounts of content, some games with endless content. Houdini and City Engines are two good examples of it. Some architects are familiar with a PCG method of creating data algorithmically instead of manually, typically through a combination of human-generated assets and algorithms coupled with computer-generated randomness and processing power. In spatial design context, AI can be used to train machine learning from existing content to generate new content. Among all the machine learning platforms, GAN, or Generative Adversial Network, is one on the radar of many design professionals. Simon Fraser University and Autodesk Research recent paper refined GAN to generate automated house layouts for architects. Another example is NVIDIA Research Latest Model, which turns 2D images into 3D objects for game developers, artists, designers, and architects. Already today, AI can create a 3D model of you using images. And many NFTs are computer-generated images from many attributes. It is a matter of time AI will be creating spaces from pictures for the metaverse, paving the way for the merger of real and virtual augmented reality. Eventually, artificial intelligence may be able to generate complete virtual worlds in real time as we explore. The lines might continue to be blurred between graphing, rendering technology and AI technology. AI could one day take some input, like flying cities in a jungle, and turn it into a fully immersive 3D environment we can explore and interact. Architects could be the leading project managers overseeing the input guiding AI while consulting with game developers as 
AI becomes a central piece of metaverse experience. Decentraland is an excellent example full of god awful spaces with mismatched colors and amateur design, if you can even call it design. You are walking kind of like inside poorly designed website with many ads, which in metaverse are displayed on walls. Once marketers go full force into metaverse, I can only imagine how annoying the evolution of pop-up will be. On the other hand, many cheer for metaverse to be a fully decentralized place. But what if metaverse will be left for an individual to design? We can only learn from real world examples when people with no design background attempt to create spaces. On the other hand, if provided with tools like modules or building blocks and some assistance from AI, even children will be able to create mind-blowing environments. As architecture projects became more complex, the architect's role shifted to project manager rather than a single mastermind. Metaverse will require a scale that is also dynamic, which any single person can't achieve, content creator or a company. Artificial intelligence could enable creation at scale, and I hope architects and designers will race to the challenge to guide it. Collaboration and project management will be critical as the metaverse world unfolds using AI. Artificial intelligence may be also the means to the meeting supply and demand of billions of individuals wanting to interact with metaverse building their own home, city, or even a country. Let me ask you, who do you think will be building inside the metaverse? And more importantly, who would you like it to do it? Bye. Bye.